What's up guys, it's Shrek and this is a box. This is actually a very special box because it comes to us from one of the masters of paracord art and function. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking like, that's crazy, paracord doesn't have like a community around it. Well, you probably think that chainmail doesn't either, but any one of these little hobbies has like masters to the degree that they come up with like an art form almost. And Nerf is similar in a lot of ways, but like this is a perfect example. This is a basic paracord tie. It's actually got a ton of extra material so that my Silas always has a little bit of survival paracord. Paracord is great in any sort of situation where you need something that's strong, durable, and flexible and versatile. So like it's a really, really cool medium to work with. And one of the masters is actually from uh, Georgia. He's very, very close. And I haven't met him at Blade Show yet, but I've seen some of his stuff before and he's also on YouTube. And so I had the opportunity to review this because he made a Nerf bandolier for me. And I'm just so very, very excited to see kind of how it works and how it looks because, I mean, I, I love paracord from like a tactical perspective and the bandolier is the ultimate form of that. As far as I'm concerned, I think that belts are a pretty close second. I also uh, just love like paracord for like everyday carry fumbly sort of things. Like the Greek in me really loves kumbaloi or worry beer. <laughs> worry beads i guess and so like i'm really really excited to see what he came up with for this bandolier um so we've got is this the ajc that's funny um that and then here we have it it looks like he left the nerf darts in it wow there's just a ton of material this is a really thick pattern um so hopefully and it looks like there is a note ooh, and some extras and the lovely miss Hey, and you're in uh, Georgia Tech yellow, so this will match you. But um, it looks like there are some extras. Wow. Check those out. I'm going to read the note real quick. Hopefully it tells me what this pattern is. Just like chainmail artists, uh, there should be a pattern for this. Um, I hope you find the Nerf Dart Bandolier useful. I have enclosed a couple of paracord keyring fobs with fang skull beads uh, and a carabiner with knot work awesome possum so i don't actually know what this is i want to say that it's like some sort of diamond back pattern because that's what it reminds me of but it's uh largely black from the outside and then largely yellow on the inside so neon and fun which is really cool looks like it holds an absolute ton of darts this would be great for pistol rounds and the way that he's wrapped it uh, this is actually elastic, so it's pretty versatile. You could tighten or loosen it at will to store, I guess, like this many elite darts, or if you'd rather, you could widen them to hold like mega darts. Um, this is just really cool. It is a single point sling down here. He's got it attached to this. Uh, the Draculina has her one day strife. Still holding strong since we built it in Ohio. So let's attach that. Uh, and then you can model the... Oh, that's right. You are left-handed. I always forget. You are really small. I he asked me for my measurements, so it'll it'll probably fit me a little bit better. But this is this is cool. Yeah. Like wow, this is probably and I I've seen other paracord bandoliers for Nerf, but this one is incredibly versatile, marvelously well done with the elastic here. Like just really really cool. It's not compressing the darts too terribly much, but holding them very very well. These are like knockoff bowberry darts. That's kind of cool. Plus, it's just a lot of material. There's like a ton of material here. This would be an awesome survival paracord. And I really like the clip that he used down here. So a huge, huge thank you to Storm Drain. Uh, links in the description box for sending over this wonderful paracord bandolier. And then we also have these, which are just the coolest. There's two. I'm going to have to share, aren't I? These are cool. Uh, so these are like cast fang beads. This is what I was talking about with like the everyday carry community earlier, guys. Like I have a, a similar style of worry bead, but I like these much, much more. This is very, very cool. It looks like they're also dated 2010. That's kind of wild. I wonder if he pulled these out of his archive. And then this is another tight wrap showing different kinds of paracord. So this is, I think, standard 550. Is that standard paracord? Is I don't know. I'm displaying my ignorance. You guys will have to forgive me. 
all on one carabiner. So this also has some like very cool applications and might uh, actually wind up on my battle belt just for utilitarian purposes. But thank you so much to Storm Drain and feel free to check him out in the description box below guys. He's got a blog, a YouTube channel, and I'm not sure if he has a web store or not, but I know that he sells his stuff via his blog often. So like if there's an eBay or something like that, I will link it as well. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is a super duper bandolier. I think it's pretty cool.